Okay, so this is our last, this is our last uh, four nights in Bangkok. So we've just moved into the, I forgot the name of it already. We've just moved into the Dynasty Grand Hotel. It's in, it's at Sukhumvit in between Soy 6, uh, in between Soy, yeah, 6 and 4. And lashed out a little bit tonight. Hi everyone. This uh, lovely shirt Arissa bought me, nice bright one. This one's got a bathtub, very nice. Arissa's happy. Over here we've got the safe somewhere. Yeah, that's yeah, the safe. Okay, this one comes with uh, coffee and uh, coffee making facilities. All the budget ones I've been staying in haven't had the um, coffee making facilities. Got a bar there. Um, but most of them have sell coffee in the lobby, so that's, I think that's the new thing. Uh, bed, Rissa said the bed's nice and soft. TV, got a desk which I need because I love to sit down and watch YouTube. Little lounge over there. This one's got a lovely pool. Little area here to sit. Oh, there's a man there on his phone. Very good. And this one was um, 2000 bucks. <laughs> going right above us. This is Victory Monument and it's a real busy um, transportation hub. A lot of bus interchange, you've got the BTS and uh, this place is always busy. People getting on and off buses, the buses stop here, buses stop over there and buses stop all the way over here. And on top of that, you get off the buses and you come over here and cut through here. On top of that, you come down here and all these people that hop off the buses, they then line up here and you can see those mini buses over there. The minibuses go uh, down the little road and all these people then go on minibuses to for even further out. And it's not just these people here, uh, there's more people lined up over here. And I don't know if you can see down between those shops, but they're lined up all on the other side of the road down there. Go ahead and have a look. Lots of Lots of cheap clothing here at um, Victory Monument too. Really good stuff and really good prices. the other day um, she's one that has to commute big commutes to get into Bangkok to work and long commute home 
which is that it's a really nice little long day that often 10 hour work days here add another two to three hours on top of that and as I said by the time you um, all the people here behind me by the time you get home have a shower eat some dinner fall asleep it's time to wake up and do it all over again anyway yeah yeah just showing them all around all the people waiting to get the bus home oh yeah I'm really loving this uh, t-shirt Arissa bought me. The only problem is the tuk-tuk drivers, they see me coming a mile away. Got a shopping mall here and I'm trying some guava juice. First time, it's really nice. It's really nice. Anyway, we're at the shopping center to see who we come to see. Doom. Jung, Eris' oh, boyfriend. <laughs> I'll do some video if, if he turns up. Yeah, he's looking good. <laughs> well, in Thailand, we could go for KFC or we could go for some rice, somtum, that's for me, somtum for Arissa, that's got seafood in, and some barbecue pork. Yummy. Oh, pork with garlic. Somtum, rice. There you go. Too many people on that plane to get on. All these people. All these people didn't get on either. But when it's really busy like this, they run about every two or three minutes. I'm on the, I'm on the BTS. Have a look at the pen. Yeah, but we're like sheep in a pen.